Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing a first impression on the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. Now I've had this in my collection for a very long time and I feel like now is a really good time for me to test it out because I am loving foundations that have loads of great benefits in them. So I have the L'Oreal True Match foundation which I use all the time and that has hyaluronic acid in it. And then this one by Tarte is supposed to have loads of different good ingredients in there as well. It has loads of claims. I've seen quite a few videos on this. The first one that I saw was about six years ago and it was when Casey Home did a first impression on this foundation. She has super oily skin, she has a lot of redness and she absolutely loved it and I thought this would be a really good thing for me to test out because I do have a lot of redness on my skin, I do still have some blemishes as well and my skin is very very sensitive and very oily in my T-zones. And this foundation is available in the UK and also the US. In the UK it's £33 on the Tarte website, you can also get it for about £37 on the QVC website and you also get a brush with it as well and then you can also get this in the US where it's about $39 and you also get 50 millilitres or 1.7 fluid ounces in this which is amazing because that's almost double what you usually get in a standard drugstore foundation or even a high-end foundation I don't think I've had any more than 35 milliliters and I think that's really good because if you're spending 30 pounds on a foundation you want something that's going to last a long time and with this having almost double the amount of a normal foundation I think it's going to go pretty good and the shade range is really good as well they have 39 or 40 shades in this foundation so they go from 8b which is porcelain beige and they go all the way to 60h which is mahogany so I feel like no matter what skin tone you have you will probably be able to find a foundation that matches you. They do loads of different undertones as well, so they do warm, cool, neutral, they also do sand undertones, peach undertones, so you have loads of different types that you can go for. And I think that's really good because the majority of drugstore foundations, they just tend to have like a pinky undertone, but then L'Oreal True Match, which I really like, I think it's an amazing foundation. They have neutral, warm, and cool undertones. And this one has probably about five or six different undertones that you can choose from. So on the website, this has quite a few claims. It says instant full coverage, matte finish and oil control, cake free and comfortable formula, lasts without creasing or setting into lines, Amazonian clay helps balance your complexion, it's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, fafalate, sodium lauryl sulfate and gluten and it also has some really good ingredients as well so it has Amazonian clay which is nature's most perfect ingredient for better longer true wear, vitamin E natural preservative which acts as an anti-inflammatory emollient and antioxidant and mineral pigments which soothe and soften skin which is going to be really good for me because I do have very sensitive skin so this looks like it's going to be good and it's not going to break me out or anything like that. Now this also mentions it's full coverage, it says it's 12 hour makeup as well so it's supposed to last on your skin for 12 hours and I do have two different shades, I have light sand and I have light medium sand and one of these I got on the QVC website and I got it with the brush and I think it was about £35 at the time because it was when it first came out so you get the brush with it as well on QVC and you can also buy the brush separately as well and I think this one which is like medium sand is the one that I got in this set I think that was from the Tarte website so looking at the two shades they don't really look much different this one is light sand this one's like medium sand and I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do a swatch of the light sand first and see how it goes I do have a pretty light self tan at the moment so I don't feel like I'm going to be dark enough for light medium sand so I'm going to go ahead we're going to zoom in and we're going to try it out on the skin and see how it looks. So we're all zoomed in and this is what my skin looks like. I only have moisturiser and serum on my skin and this is how it looks naturally. I have a lot of redness, I do have some blemishes on my skin as well. You can see one coming up right here but I do also have very sensitive skin and very oily skin. I'm not going to use any mattifying primers this time just because I haven't actually been using any mattifying primers for a very long time. It's one of those where I just felt like that it was breaking out my skin a little bit and I was trying different ones and instead my moisturiser actually acts as a primer as well. I have a primer in my moisturiser which is a Lizelle light moisturiser and that is amazing. It keeps my oil free throughout the whole day. So like I mentioned I have two shades in the foundation. I have light medium sand and I also have light sand and I'm going to try the light sand first and see how it goes. I also have two different things that I'm going to use. So on the website it does say to use the brush and that's the best way to apply it but I always use my makeup sponge for all of my foundations because I feel like I get a better coverage and I feel like it looks smoother on the skin. Now this does say that it's not going to be cakey. It also says it's going to look very smooth on the skin as well so I'm going to try both of them and see how it goes. I also do like the fact that the lid is bamboo it just makes it seem like it's more eco-friendly. Also the foundations are vegan, they're dermatologically tested as well and they are cruelty free it is just an amazing thing that they do for Tarte. I think that their products are really really good and I love the way that they show that you don't have to test on animals to get really good products. So this is what it looks like when you take off the little foil cap and I'm just going to squeeze some on my hand so you can see now this actually looks like it might be too pale for me. So that's what light sand looks like. I'm gonna put some on my face just so we can see how it looks. 
so it does look really really pale i feel like this would probably be good when my fake tan is starting to come off so i'm also going to test out the light medium sand and see if that's a better colour match but honestly they didn't really look like there was much difference between the two and these foundations also have a 12 month lifespan as well and this one on here is light medium sand so there's not really a big difference between them this one obviously is slightly darker but I don't know it doesn't really look like there's much difference in there so I'm just going to apply this one and see so that one just looks a little bit more grey which is very strange because it's meant to be a sand one so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the light sand because it is more of the undertone then I'm going to use some bronzer so we can just bronze up the skin and see how it looks so I've just taken off the foundation and the shade that I'm going to go in with is light sand because I feel like it's probably the best undertone for me at the moment I feel like the light medium one just looks a little bit grey so I'm going to use the light sand and then we're going to see how it looks with some bronzer so the first thing that I'm going to do is use the brush so I'm going to apply it to this side of my face with the brush I don't even know how much of this foundation you need to use. I'm hoping that a little goes a long way because it is a very, very thick formula. So we're just going to buff this in with a brush and see if it covers up. See, this is the thing with brushes. I absolutely hate using brushes for foundations because I just feel like that you don't really get a very good coverage with them. Every single brush that I've used, I haven't managed to get a good coverage with it. And I've used this brush before and I've had exactly the same thing where I just didn't really get much of a coverage with the foundation that I was using. So that's what one side looks like. This is what the other side looks like. There's not really much difference because I didn't get much coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my sponge. I think what I might do is actually mix the two together. So I might mix light sand and light medium sand and see if that's a better look because at the moment it does actually look like that light medium sand is starting to darken a little bit on my hand so if you can see that it looks like it's just starting to darken so i'm going to mix the two together see if we can get the best formula that we can get and i'm going to pop this on and use my beauty blender because i feel like it might give me the best look like i said it's what i use with all of my foundations and it gives me a full coverage most of the time I was talking about with a beauty blender I do get a much better coverage it looks more full coverage it does look a little bit too light for my skin but that's just because I do have these filming lights about so it does make all of my foundations a lot lighter which is very strange but in natural light it does look a little bit darker so I'm really liking how it looks on this side with the beauty blender it doesn't look cakey I'm not used to full coverage foundations at the moment because I have been using, like I said, the L'Oreal True Match, which is more of a medium coverage and it gives me really nice luminosity to my skin. But this looks really, really good. It's covered up pretty much all of my redness. I've only just got a little bit of redness on my cheek here. But as you can see from the difference of both sides, so this one has got one coat of the foundation on, this side has nothing and... My skin looks so red, you can see all of my blemishes on here and the redness on my skin. And then on this side, you can't see any of it, which is so good. Honestly, I really like Tarte foundations. I do have the powder foundation, which is discontinued now, so you can't get it. But that was my favourite foundation for a very long time. It's the only powder foundation that I've managed to find that actually works on my oily skin and stays put during the whole day. I did do a first impression on that, which I'll link somewhere in this video for you so you can check it out. I'll try and link it up here. But yeah, that's what my skin looks like with one side done. I am absolutely loving it. I will probably just need to build up a little bit more on my redness. So I'm just going to see if I can do that. So it's already mixed on my hand. So it looks like it builds up pretty well and I feel like I've got the best look with mixing both of the formulas together. So mixing the light sand and the light medium sand looks like it's probably the best look for me. And I'm really liking this. I feel like my skin looks so flawless. I'm looking at it from far away 
and it just looks so nice. So what I'm going to do is do the other side of my face. I have tried to build up a little bit the foundation on some of my red areas but I didn't have much red areas left so I just built up a little bit on that and it worked out really well and I'm going to go ahead do the other side of my face and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. So I've finished off my foundation and this is what it looks like and honestly my skin looks so flawless. So this is a really thick foundation. I still have that much of the foundation left. I only use two pea sized amounts and I mix them together to get the shade and it's gone really really far it doesn't look cakey but you can tell that it's full coverage I feel like that it is drying very very quickly just like the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation so I feel like I'll probably need to put the rest of my products on very quickly but what I'm going to do is after I've done my makeup I'm going to take a photo so you can see what it looks like in natural light because honestly this looks like it matches and in my monitor it looks like I am as pale as a ghost. So what I'm gonna do is do the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna see how all the products go on my skin, and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like and let you know how I feel about it. So I've just finished off my makeup and this is what it looks like, and I really like the way that the rest of my products went on. They just glided on so easily. These are the products that I use all the time, so I know how they work with all of my foundations and how they work with my skin. And honestly, I had absolutely no problems. My concealer went on easily, so did my cream bronzer and my powder blush. All of it just went on so well and I'm so happy with the way that it looks. It makes my skin look so nice and flawless and like I said earlier in the monitor it looks like my skin is very very pale but in natural light I can promise you it actually looks very normal. I have taken a photo of my skin and it looks normal. It looks pretty much the same colour to my neck and I really don't know how to change that in these lights but I can promise you it does look very natural. So I'm loving the way that it looks. It is very full coverage and it just doesn't look cakey on the skin. It just makes my skin look absolutely perfect and I'm so happy with the way that it looks and also you only need a little because a little goes a very long way and I found that out because I put two pea sized amounts on my hand and I was left with a massive load all on my hand so you only need a little bit of this foundation which I think is great because it is 50 milliliters you know that it's going to last you a very very long time compared to the rest of the other foundations so this is what it looks like my skin looks so good and I really like the way that it looks so it's now quarter to three in the afternoon I'm going to put this foundation on for quite a long time hopefully I'm going to wear it for eight hours but it is quite late on in the day for me to do a first impression so I'm going to try and keep it on for as long as I can and then I'm going to come back and give you a final review hi guys so I'm back and it's now quarter past 10 in the evening so I've had this foundation on now for seven and a half hours and now is a good time for me to give you my final first impression and let you know how this foundation has gone during the day so looking at my skin my skin looks almost exactly the same as when I first put it on I do still have some redness on my chin that's peeking through and then also underneath my nose as well but I have had a runny nose so it has been coming off a little bit around there while I've been wiping it and you can see a little bit where my glasses have been that it started to come off but that's just because I do wear glasses so every foundation where it tends to come off there anyway but so far it's done really really well for seven and a half hours all of my makeup is still on so I still have my blush my bronzer and my highlighter on and it looks really really good and I'm quite impressed with how it's done the only thing is I feel like it looks really heavy on the skin like you can tell that I'm wearing makeup when you look up close and it does actually make my skin look really nice and smooth from far away it does accentuate my pores but I would just need to use a pore filling primer but other than that my skin actually looks really good and I do need to get used to wearing full coverage foundations again because I am wearing medium coverage foundations that do have a bit of luminosity to it so the L'Oreal True Match is what I'm wearing at the moment and I absolutely love it so this one is a little bit heavier I think this would be really good if you're going on a night out because it does cover up all your imperfections it covered up all my redness and the rest of my makeup glided on really easily and it just made my skin look really nice and flawless so it doesn't look cakey on my skin at the moment but you can just tell that I do have foundation on so if you are after a foundation that gives you a natural look this probably isn't the best for you but if you want something that's going to cover everything up and stay put for a long time then this is a really good foundation now I don't have any of my oils peeking through at all and this foundation as soon as I put it on it was matte so it it dry down matte very very quickly but even though it did dry down quickly the rest of my products just went on very easily so usually if I have a foundation that dries very quickly and then leave it for a little bit putting on the rest of my makeup just tends to make it come off but this was perfect for me this just felt really good and I really like the way that it looks with a beauty blender because I feel like it blends in a little bit more in the skin I did use the brush and that sort of gave me like a light coverage and it just didn't work very well and you did have to use a lot if you were using the brush but honestly 
this is good of like 50 millilitres which is almost double the amount of what you'd get in a normal standard foundation is amazing the fact that there's 40 shades in the collection is great also all of the different undertones I looked on the website and they do actually do more undertones so they also do a golden one which I think would probably be the best for my skin because I do have a very yellow skin because I do self tan so this one the colour seemed really good and I really did like it in natural light it looked like it matched me perfectly so overall I'm really liking this foundation and I'm so glad that I managed to try it out I will be testing it out a little bit more because it does have some really good ingredients that are good for the skin and it just looks really good as well and it kept my oils at bay without using the mattifying primer which is a very big plus point for me I didn't use any setting spray or anything like that I just used the foundation with my moisturiser and it worked perfectly so I'm really happy with it so this is my first impression of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation I feel like this would last 12 hours I feel like it's done really well obviously it's come off on the areas that I've been rubbing today but in all honesty I like it I haven't got any patches on my skin where it's come off and I think it did really really well like I said the only thing I'd probably need to do is just get a different shade I have seen that they have a honey shade as well which I'll probably try out and see if that works as well but the undertone is really good and it matches my fake tan really well as well so I hope that you've enjoyed this video if you've tried out this foundation if you like it or if you don't just comment down below to let me know and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys bye